All right. Okay. Here we go. All right. Hello, hello. Hello there. My name is Chris Palmer. In today's advanced Google My Business SEO tips and tricks video, what I'd like to share with you is a way that you can maximize your Google My Business rankings along with save time. Now, this business this business video comes about after a consultation call that I had and during the conversation in the very beginning the client says Chris I've been following you I've followed we're doing the mirroring we're doing Google my business website mirroring we've been posting consistently we've been keeping things up to date and I'm like great I go into the business profile and they've got the products and services but they're not mirroring every single asset within the Google my business profile which is the posts so if they didn't get it or if they didn't quite grasp that concept of mirroring I want to cover that today and I also want to give you a powerful strategy it helps with ranking and and it most certainly will save you time so I don't want to waste too much of your time let's get directly into this video now this is post mirroring advanced Google my business tips and tricks so the very first thing is you have your website nine times out of ten you're going to attach your Google my business asset to your website so on your websites I assume uh, I'm just gonna draw a brief thing because I'm a visual learner and then I'll show you a actual example just to give some more context so you have your home page right so along with your home page you're gonna have let's just say for instance a location page we're gonna have a location one page okay and let's also do a service page all right this is a service and a service okay now I'm sure there's other pages but just for example just to explain this concept because I really want to make sure that you get it it'll save you time it's gonna achieve massive rankings but before we get it into the next part of the strategy I just want to ask you on your website as an SEO if you do SEO if you perform SEO do you want to change your URL structure think about it heck no right why because we've been building up authority we've been building links perhaps doing embeds sending traffic these pages this site is getting authority as it ages it's building authority as I build links and embeds and I get traffic authority age right it's the same on your Google my business asset let me explain so if we are on our home page okay home page our location pages our secondary location pages our service pages and our service pages right home page nine times out of ten unless you're only offering one service okay in one location is going to be branded okay this is going to be all about your brand this is your location so this is all about your location and and again if you have one location it'll be a location based service page but again let's say location this is our secondary location so location right one this is our service page it's all about this service that we provide so service okay and again service all right now we understand that home page to our products and services you're going to mirror them you're going to take the same title that is on that page we're going to have that inside of our product same descriptions product links going to the pages right this does not change for our posts so let me let me introduce you to post mirroring I do this for a majority of my clients it's very effective it saves me time and then we're able to build up power and what I mean by this is on the Google my business or Google business profile asset you're going to first a create an event okay now if you're a service-based business let's say that you're a doctor okay an event a common event could be okay taking patients so this is the event okay taking patients if you're a roofer hey summertime special 25 percent off it's an event okay so just note that we're gonna have an event I'm sure you'll have other things but just to give you again context to the overall strategy on the Google my business asset we have our home which is branded this is our branded post branded post here location this is a location based post again location based post service based post service based post now like when I talked to my client this morning at no time should these URLs change 
at no time should I be updating. Why would I do that when I've built this authority? I've created this post. I've used a, a, an image, probably a unique image or an image that's on the website. I've created a URL within my Google My Business asset, which is a website within a website, right? Is it not? There's no difference here. So when I create these posts, at no time do I ever change them, but Google rewards freshness. So we keep the posts updated, but we never change the posts. So when we're creating posts every day, it's not like we're literally going in there and creating them. I don't. However, I will freshen up the post and I am going to mirror the posts to the website in order to help build authority for my brand or my customers' brands. Same with event and, and just to briefly, again, to give context to the overall strategy, a post, most of the time, depending on the client, did they pay for this service? Hey, some of them don't, but inside the post, there's a couple of aspects. We're going to be linking to the event. We'll be linking to the website. We'll be linking to the place ID and the context of this particular post is about branded. This is the post, but it's always going to link to these assets. If you want to link to anything else, that's fine but we're always linking to this event and we're always linking to our place ID and we're always linking definitely to the website. Now, if you want to create secondary posts, supporting posts, just like a website, you have your main article and you'll create supporting posts. You can call it daisy chaining. That's up to you. If you want to create a secondary post that supports this and build more relevance or more power targeting secondary keywords to that post, by all means, I do it. I, there's nothing against that. However, the original structure that we lay out in our posts, branded, location, location, service, and service, we never change these. We don't want to spend time creating more posts and we want to keep the authority building. Let me share you, let me show you mine. Now I see that people have seen my account. Maybe they, I, I assume that maybe they would have saw, saw something along these lines, but I, I never change the, I never change the posts. Uh, so if you come over here, let me just share this with you briefly. And what I mean by saving you time and building authority, when I create this post, this is your, you know, you'll have your COVID or whatnot, and you'll have your post. This is a service-based event. This is a service, right? This is a service, okay? I, I offer primarily service nationwide. But just, just to share with you what I mean, if I'm building links and getting traffic to this post, why would I ever want to change it? Just like a website. I don't, but what we will want to do is we want to keep this fresh because Google rewards freshness. So what you do is you come in here, you go to edit, you could add a new image. This is up to you, but we might want to change New York SEO expert. Maybe instead of a comma, I'll put a dash and instead of learn more, maybe I'll do sign up. I'm still going to the same page. It's still the same post. The URL doesn't change, but now I have a fresh post. Now it's getting reseen. Now I can re get more people to it. Now I can still build equity to it. I can still embed it. I can still build links to it. I can still drive traffic to it. You see, I'm able to save time and build more authority and equity within the asset and help the website. My name's Chris Palmer. If you have any future questions related to advanced Google, my business, post mirroring, mirroring, any of these concepts, anything I can help you out with, please. Don't hesitate. Feel free. Go ahead and ask in the section below. And I always look forward to seeing you in the next Google My Business. Hey, one more thing. The same goes with the events. All right. I, I know it's outside the scope of the, the overall topic and what I'm really trying to teach you today. But the same thing goes with the events. This event never changes. It might be a new event. It might have new words, but that link is not changing. Heck no. Same thing. You might want to come in here and make an edit because time frames change, but I never want to lose equity that I've been building up. Just like I want my Google, my business profile to age, just like I want those images to age and get views, just like I want my products to stay the same. Google wants to see the same thing. I'm an authority. I'm, I'm, I'm a business owner. If you go in your Google, my business and change out the address, what happens? Drop, probably never get back up there. They want the same, but they want it to stay fresh. I, I just want to point this out again. So instead of maybe the 16th, maybe maybe I'll say it's starting the 17th. The URL is going to stay the same. I didn't change anything. We'll publish it out. It's the same thing. We have new dates. But in any case, I'm Chris Palmer. You have questions, feel free. Go ahead and ask below. If you need help, go to chrispalmermarketing.com. Click on the consulting button. 
you need links or anything, message me. We can work something out. Ask any questions you want. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I always look forward to seeing you in the next Google My Business, Google My Business SEO Optimization Tips for 2022 video. Have a wonderful day. All right. Now, I got to run, but hey, Chris. Hey, brother. All right. So, no questions. Everybody, I guess, has it. Awesome. Excellent. It's been a blessing. Thank you all so much. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.